The lift off of this rocket by Japan Space One, an aerospace startup, was perfect. The goal was to be the country's first company to deliver a satellite to space. But shortly after takeoff, the company terminated the flight of its Cairo small rocket. The flight, which lasted about 10 minutes, was terminated because the achievement of its mission would be difficult, Space One said. This was the second failed attempt by Kairos in nine months. The solid propellant rocket blasted off from Spaceport Key in Western Japan at 11 a.m. local time, but losing stability in its trajectory as it ascended. It was carrying five small satellites, including one from the Taiwan Space Station, the mission was to put the satellites into sun-synchronous orbit, roughly 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. As its debut flight in March, Kairos carried a Japanese government satellite, but exploded five seconds after launch. Inappropriate flight settings triggered the rocket's autonomous self-destruct system, even though no issues were found in its hardware, Space One had then said. Tokyo-based Space One was founded in 2018 with the goal of launching 20 small rockets a year by 2029. To capture growing satellite launch demand, the Japanese government looks to boost the domestic space industry and is targeting 30 rocket launches annually by early 2030s. Recent Japanese rocket projects have also faced setbacks. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, postponed the debut flight of the new solid fuel launcher Epsilon S after its engine combustion test failed last month for a second time. In 2019, Interstellar Technologies became the first Japanese firm to send a rocket into space without a satellite payload.